Hey guys, it's Pastor Anna. I hope you are all doing well. Uh, today I wanted to share with you just a little bit about what's been going on in my life. Uh, my son, Abe, just turned one this past May, and he is at that stage where he is walking and getting into everything, um, including some things I don't always want him to be in. Uh, like just recently, he got a hold of our TV remotes and I could not find one of them for two days. <laughs> um, but he's just naturally being curious and wanting to learn. He dislikes the word no. And uh, sometimes he handles it all right and he just shrugs it off and goes and does something else, which makes me happy. Like, thank you for listening, buddy. And other times he has a little bit of a meltdown and cries. Well, <laughs> So is the life of a one-year-old. But honestly, I love this age and the stage of life we're in. I like being able to watch him and see him grow. And just over the course of the year that he's been in our lives, the Lord has shown me and brought to my attention many times how he sees me as his child. There are times when I'm watching Abe do something and I think to myself, I just love him so much. And immediately the Lord will say to me, I love you like that. Or there's times when I'm just sitting back and watching Abe learn and figure something out. And the Lord will say to me, I enjoy watching you learn and grow too. Or my favorite reminder, which always kind of gets me a little bit right here, um, is when Abe is is doing something or are playing too close to the stairs or he has something he shouldn't or he is putting himself in a position that could potentially harm him and he wants what he wants he wants to do what he wants to do and i'm over there and i'm saying no or i am physically moving him away from harm or or taking objects out of his hand that he shouldn't have and oftentimes he's not very happy about it but I can see the danger in what is going on. And my actions are to protect him from that danger. But he doesn't see it. And the Lord oftentimes slaps me upside the head and says, it's the exact same way with you and I. I can see the danger, but you can't. I am your protector and I am a good father. Parenthood has been humbling and eye-opening. It's giving me a whole new realization of just how much the Father loves us and how he sees us as his children. This indescribable, overwhelming love that he has for each and every one of us, we can't even fathom it. <laughs> I think about how much I love my child, and then I read in my Bible that, that God loves us even more than that. In John 3.16, the one of the most famous verses it said for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him will not die but have eternal life when i try to put myself in god's shoes and i think could i give up my only son whom i love so much to save the whole world i don't know i just thinking about it rips my heart in two. I, I, I love my boy so much. And, and to think that's what God did for me and for you, this sacrificial, unending love of God. He saved you and he saved me. He gave his son to endure the punishment for our sins because of his great love. First John 3 uh, verse 1 says, How great is the love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God. You and I are called children of God, and nothing can separate us from his love, just as Romans 8.39 tells us. You are loved, my friend, and I pray that you always remember and know the amazing love of God. And I pray that we continue to grow as a body and learn how to love one another just as the Father has loved us. A sacrificial, unending love. Let me pray for you. God, 
thank you so much for for your sacrifice of of giving Jesus as our Lord and our Savior, that he endured the punishment for our sins so that we could have eternal life, so that we could have a relationship with you. God, I pray that we always keep that in the forefront of our mind, that we always remember just how much you love us. God, I pray for every person watching this, Lord. I pray for our nation, for for um, what is going on in the world right now, God. I pray that you continue to shine your light, Lord, and that you would use us to be a light to our community so that all will know the love that you have for us. God, you're amazing. You're wonderful. We love you. And in your name I pray. Amen.